Well, I am pumped to talk about, if you haven't heard the word, friends. We're, we're talking tailwind today. We're finally doing it. <laughs> I'm taking the dive. I need to learn it. I need I to know it. I need to embrace it. A little bit like I'm giving up. I feel like this has been <laughs> a battle that I've been fighting for no real reason <laughs> uh, for a very long time now. I've been like vehemently, vocally anti-tailwind without actually writing any. <laughs> so... Ah. This, so this is you like conceding to the tailwind push you're like fine i'm gonna fine. look that's I'm all i'm look. saying i'm just gonna, I'm gonna see i mean you sound super open-minded and ready to go so i think this yeah will be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh god and- i can't wait <laughs> honestly i'm 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 hopeful i'm hopeful because of how many CSS like lovers that I've heard say oh it doesn't suck and so I mean like you know raving reviews hi napalm oh babysitting my pup oh I hope pup recovers strict rest surgery on his palm poor Poor guy oh does he have one of those like wheels that they give dogs you know and you like Um, paw up and they like wheel themselves around and it's so adorable if so we're gonna need videos but yeah (laughs) or even just the cone it's probably got a cone (laughs) oh i hate the cone they always shame they give you the look (laughs) and you're just like i can't i can't i'm really sorry yeah (laughs) oh all right so we're following this beautiful guide at least you know Catherine found it and i was gonna just kind of go for it i was uh don't even I don't deserve that much credit because it was like maybe 20 minutes before we came on and I was like I should look at the docs <laughs> uh, to Aaron dip a toe dabble you don't have to jump off the high dive I don't know Aaron I'm kind of more like a all or nothing person yeah you know, like uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey and Salt hello, good to see you oh poor puppy just bandages Oh, when my dog hurt his paw once, we put a little sock on his paw and held it on with like a couple hair tie rubber bands. That worked. Did it work? Well. It worked. Yeah, you oh. could try that. He uh, he was worried about it right at first, but then he, we distracted him, and he looked really cute with just a little sock on, and oh. like one of my little ankle socks that we just put over his paw. So good luck. No. <laughs> that's my that's my advice. <laughs> my sister was like overdoing my laundry at some point. Like I was, I was, it was like a, like half a year ago and I was, oh, I was traveling. I was gone. I was AFK. And so she was doing, she was doing my laundry. I don't know why. I think she, she's so <laughs> funny. I love her to death, but she found one of my socks and it's not even an ankle sock. Like, do you know what the sock is called? It's like even lower than an ankle sock. Like it's for like slip shoes or like, you know, oh, like yeah. barely. The ones that like, the, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Barely a sock. Don't know and what she was called. so freaked out. She was like, I don't know what you do with this. No show. No show. No me. shocks. Yeah. She was like, I don't know what kind of weird stuff you're into, Alyssa, but I found this. And I was like, that's a sock. And she, it's was, a like, sock. she was like, is it? And I'm like, what do you think it is? You weirdo? That's what was my question. was like, where do you think it goes? <laughs> <laughs> I had a sock. Anyway, you mentioned socks, Catherine. I had to. Okay. Oh, oh my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to share this and then we're going to look at this. This is the gorgeous guide that Catherine wrote. I'm kidding. She found yeah, it no. for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's one thing I will say because we're both, everyone should, should know this. Catherine and I both love CSS, like love CSS. And so for things like this, it can be <laughs> a difficult pill to swallow because it is not doing css all yourself and so it's hard to give up control with things that you love um but we are going to be as open-minded as possible and give it a good old-fashioned yeehaw and i will say their docs are pretty they're really pretty they're nice super legible did you just see that responsiveness right like it's it's like look at that that's gorgeous they're nice yeah it makes me want to redo everything that i've ever done in this beautiful streamlined business like i like it so yeah and I will give them credit. It loaded for me in dark mode. It like took me a minute to realize that you had the same page open that I did. Oh my god! Because I you're have, in dark mode. Ah. I am in dark mode, and it looked very ah. sleek there too. Nice. Yeah. I I live in light mode. Are you a dark mode gal? I guess I am. I used to be a light mode person. I do. I like how 
late mode looks, but I've just found that it's too much strain on my eyes. I get headaches uh, mm. and oh. dark mode helps prevent that. So I feel you. I feel you. I'm a reluctant dark mode girl now. <laughs> I have um, I'm really, really bad eyesight. It's kind of sad. Uh, and I'm actually trying to put my monitor farther away from me. Do you wear I, contacts? And I've just I never do. known. Yeah, I wear contacts and I have glasses, but like mm-hmm. it's always a compromise because my vision's so um, what's the word for it? Wonka doodled that I have to. Is that the word? Is that, is that the official optometrist word? Uh-huh. It's, it's <laughs> either <laughs> I get to see up close really good or I get to see really far away really good. Like there's always a compromise with my prescription. Oh, and you don't so, do like bifocals or anything? I was offered bifocals like five years ago. They were like, you're the youngest person I've prescribed these for. And I tr- I tried them. I tried them real hard because I they have bifocal contacts where oh, really? it's the wow. bifocal is it's so bizarre. The bifocal huh. is on the rim of the contact, not just the bottom. And so you use your periphs to use the bifocal vision. And I find it, I found it just painfully. I was like, that sounds who could, hard. <coughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. who could do this? And I didn't want to like, I've been wearing contacts since I was like 13. I didn't want to like, you know, glasses are my backup. So I didn't want to make that like life choice just for bifocals. So now yeah. it's either can I read that street sign or can I read my computer? You know, like, like oh, yes. <laughs> uh, oof, you'll said I heard Tailwind is the best of the best. You can glasses and linens. Yeah, I need to do that. Honestly, I need to get some kind of funky combo where I'm like, <laughs> here, are, <laughs> here are my bifocal readers. Like, I don't, you know. I'm like, just waiting. I know bifocals <laughs> are in my future. They're not there yet. I've been wearing glasses since I was like 12 or 13. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, both of my parents were bifocals. I know it's happening. I've you never been a contacts right girl. I can't do them. Hmm. I have astigmatisms and like yeah, I'm mine comfy. too. And oh my, did you know that like with astigmatism contacts, they're weighted. Yeah. And so if my contact gets knocked, like all of a sudden I'm blind in that eye. Like <laughs> I just super bad. I can't do it. I feel like the glasses are just part of my face now. They're part of how I look. Yeah. <laughs> I oh well, I was so I was into sports in high school and college. And like swimming, like for instance, oh, I never yeah. got used to like prescription goggles. Like it just wasn't well that yeah. and then like you take your goggles off after a race and you're blind, you're right? Blind. So then you're just walking <laughs> around in your goggles. Like it had to be it was kind of like a, a forced situation of Yeah, the trick is to be completely unathletic. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Catherine. You're beautiful. <laughs> Are you all doing KCDC this year? Uh Catherine is? Maybe? Maybe. Yes. I don't I remember. Be- what? happened I haven't decided is the actual like real truth um is that the one that ed wasn't allowed to talk about or there's some weird thing I was, yeah. sorry i'm not needing to bring it over again i just was like which one was that I that's the it. one okay yeah um <laughs> yeah i did submit a talk while i was like submitting a whole bunch of talks i didn't actually honestly like look at the calendar and make sure that everything lines up so i'm still kind of working through scheduling so mm-hmm. the answer is maybe maybe i've been invited i'd love to go if i can i have not actually sorted out whether you are that kcdc's acd is 2020 (laughs) at kcdc's kansas city is it developer conference developer con yeah prince that sounds right (laughs) i don't i was saying it is it's like um one of the most polyglot conferences i've ever been a part of i was amazed like yeah just the it was really fun actually like meeting people from different parts of our industry oh that was a really cool vibe in kansas city it's in in kansas city so uh that's where we went axe throwing yes we did and i found (laughs) out that certain people in my sphere are really good at throwing an axe it was kind of creepy i was like wow you're painfully good at that like oh (laughs) okay let's see i have until like friday i think to get back to them on whether or not i'm actually going and i think i'm going to need like all of those days to figure it out figure it out i'm trying to see when it is because i think i didn't even september 15th august wait early august i want to say august like 8th maybe yeah because that was the 2021 date um you didn't submit (laughs) no because is it a family reunion there's something you looked at your calendar ahead of time so that you wouldn't end up in the exact position that i'm in right now uh, it's a very uh vacation yes we are going on we like haven't vacation since I had baby and we usually our dive trip or bust. I don't mm-hmm. know if you know this. 
but dive trips are expensive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I believe it. So we're doing, and this is going to be like pineapple pizza. You're either going to be like gross or you're going to be like cool. We're doing a beach trip. We just got an Airbnb literally on the beach and we're just spending a week orcaing about in the sand. That sounds cool. Okay, I like it. My husband's like trying his very best to put on his happy face because he loathes sand. And I'm trying my best to figure out a way to make my husband love the beach. I'm like, maybe I could like cover it all in plastic wrap for him or something. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) We're excited. Yeah, there's Turtle Guy. Hey, Turtle Guy. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm going to figure it out. I know the baby's going to love it. He's, you know, three now and he's uh, like, he's seen the ocean, but like he wasn't old enough to remember it. So like, I'm excited to see. His reaction. And that's perfect for like sandcastle building and like digging modes and like finding seashells and right. little animals. And I and feel like I could right. literally do those activities that you just listed forever. Like it would <laughs> occupy my brain. Like I could just, yeah. yeah. Sandbox sandbox sandbox. Sandbox. yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm pumped. We'll see. Uh, please let me <laughs> out. I love the beach now. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Bury him in the sand until yeah. he's. <laughs> Good. That's a good idea. That's good. No, but seriously, if anybody, <laughs> so I thought I'd see the day you two willingly went to the dark side. Damn. Yes, overlords, viva la. Yeah, I know. Yeah, same. yeah, yeah. Tell when goes. Listen, if you all want to know the truth, and I hope this doesn't ever go. I was about to say, do you, you want to tell them how we ended up doing this? Because it's actually hysterical. Okay. Yeah, I will tell you all how this happened. NG Conf, my favorite conference <laughs> of all time. I would do anything for these people, literally. And they asked me, do you know Tailwind slash want to teach a, an all day, eight hour workshop? And I was like, yeah, that's, I'm your girl. I literally told them I'm your girl. So now your girl has to learn Tailwind, <laughs> <laughs> which it sounds crazy. All right. But lots of people teach things that they didn't once know and then they learned and now oh, yeah. they know it. Okay. So Honestly, though, I think that's the best way to teach a beginner's class, right? Like yeah. assuming that the workshop is like intro to Tailwind, mm-hmm. then I don't think yep. there's a better way to be taught than someone who is like literally one step ahead of you and remembers all of the stuff that sucked. Well, and I think I'm right there with you. And I've, I've done it multiple times with different subjects before that I was asked to teach and it's worked out swimmingly. Like I started my journey into development at code school and literally they would be like, Hey, we need to make videos on this subject. And I would go and learn that subject and well, then they cool. would film me teaching. Right. And so yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see a problem with it, but also there's like this weird voice in the back of my head that's like, you should not admit that at this time you don't know it because you're teaching oh. it in September. Like, no. September is so far away. I, <laughs> I have a, actually sick. It is an amazing agenda. If you're thinking about going to NG Conf, like, and you are interested in this subject, come hang out with me. It's going to be yeah. the most fun eight hours of your life. Like, you're going to love it. Like, I'm excited about it and I love CSS. So that, you know. It's funny. Have you seen like on the Tailwind homepage where it's like the con- like the 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 people who are talking about it was like reviews of Tailwind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this cracked me up. And people are like, I don't just hate it, and I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Like so, yes. Um, we found out that most people hate the beach as well in chat. S- sorry, I, would, I like the beach. I, I A bunch of like, <laughs> feels like the whole chat. It's like um. What's the like dumb line from Star Wars where he's like, I hate sand. It's coarse. And it's terrible. And it gets everywhere. <laughs> yep. Yep. And I, I like I, right now. when I saw that, I like to look over at Zach. I'm like, God, that's so you. Like, it's just so. <laughs> uh, the beach was a great Seinfeld episode, too. Oh, my gosh. I don't remember it at all. I need to go watch it. I need to go see it. OK, <laughs> let's do some. Let's do let's some do stuff. Some <laughs> I will be productive. I promise. I love you all. OK, share this. Go here, pull that up. Okay, so I made a Tailwind folder and now I'm going to make a, we're doing Angular, but it shouldn't, I don't know. I don't think it should be too Angular since we're like trying to sit, stick to the UI side of it, but I, we'll see. My yeah. project. Um, first time around and that'll generate strict checking mode. Ugh. I don't know. Catherine, did you ever get into this? I never really like uh, committed <sighs> <laughs> I was always like, no, no. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Here's the real truth. I don't want anything to be looking at my code strictly. 
I write JavaScript yeah. because I can write it fast and loose. <laughs> That's Wait, right. do you think this matters? Right, C sharp. <laughs> do you think it matters what I use for this? I was I usually oh. do this, but does it um, matter? It doesn't say anything. I would just go leave vanilla CSS. Yeah. Yeah. You think so? You don't think it requires SAS? I don't think so, because Tailwind itself is a preprocessor, right? Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna. <laughs> we, we just. Made, it's not like we can ever no go line. back. <laughs> it's like one yeah. line. It's like literally. We can one scrap line. everything and just. It's it's like one line in the like a like a config file. Okay, that's taking way longer than I thought it would. That's new. Okay, let's go down and find. I want to install you. MPX. What is this? MPX. MPX always confuses me. Can you explain MPX, Catherine? <laughs> Sorry, I was straight up. I was over in the Tailwind docs, <laughs> not listening. I, I just MP asked if you could explain NPX to the world. Thank you. Oh God. Um, <laughs> You're no. welcome. I, in like my mind, I'm like it's like a weird version NPM. of NPM, right? Yeah, it's like it's like one step above, right? So that when you're executing things about npm you're using npx was it's just weird that it's not like is that wrong npm tailwind css in it right like what is this uh laser cuts the laser cuts excuse me says <laughs> npx lets you execute a known package without installing so execute maybe. a known I'm gonna Google package it. without installing you know what i want to look at that something people need in their lives cd into first time around and we're going to open this bad boy in VS Code. And I need, I always do this to you, chat, a color. So first person to yell out a color, preferably a hex color. Hopefully, am I still screen sharing? I hit the hide button, but maybe you I are. Hit. You are. Oh, cool. Okay. So answer on the NPX. Um, NPX allows you to run an arbitrary command from an NPM package, either when installed locally or fetched remotely in a similar context as running it via NPM run. It sounds like I could literally replace the X with an M and like my life would be the same. I don't. It would maybe be similar to saying NPM run, whatever. Mm. So you, NPX is like a way to dive in. So I was almost wrong that it's not like a step above. It's like a step. Sideways? Yeah. I'd go one level deeper. But yeah. Deeper. Okay. Um, I, I think need... your first color was orange. <laughs> orange. Okay. Oof. I love that color. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm you asked that. the chat. I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, chat. I'm gonna do orange, but we I gotta find. You were just lucky because salt threw out lime green. <laughs> so really, <laughs> really, we dodged uh, the bullet. Oh, uh, where's my color? I don't even know this off the top one. of my head what this one is. I'm gonna do this one, color hunt, and then we're gonna find the prettiest non throwy epi orange. This is what I'm leaning towards, but we can we can go all There's in. I mean, no such thing as non throwy epi orange. Someone there was a great tweet that someone wrote that was like, uh, trying to make orange accessible means that you either end up with like, uh, like pumpkin pie or like Halloween. I think is what they said. I was like, Yes, yeah. I love yeah, that. Make tweet. that orange accessible. I think I'm going with this one. Go for it. Reminds me of candy cane, not a candy cane, candy corn. <laughs> okay, do you like candy corn, Catherine? I love candy corn. Yes, now do you eat it like? Hump, like all of it, or do you like just like <laughs> like it one at a time, like an adult? Or, <laughs> yes. <laughs> or do you like just eat parts of the candy corn and then throw away the other parts? What? No, it all tastes like, the same. Oh yeah, you know, like, that like the white part tastes different than the orange part. That's just a lie. It's, ah! it's all it's just sugar. <laughs> It's just sugar and oh food God, coloring. There's not like, separate flavors <laughs> happening. Yes, yeah, so I eat the whole I eat the candy corn. <laughs> Oh god, they got a trend. You will not catch me going near. Speaking of other holiday candy, though, uh, don't come near me with peeps. Those are disgusting. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, like that's one yeah. window. Yep. No. Uh huh. <laughs> no, but I, I mean, I've tried them multiple times. I, I don't. What, I don't get it. No, the peeps. I don't get it. Oh, I'm like, yeah, no, they're disgusting. <gasps> no, the pa the pumpkins in the fall, the candy corn. I like to like. Ooh yeah. Eat them. chunky guys. Yes. Yeah, the chunkers. Okay. Uh, this one. I did that install. Now I'm gonna do the weird NPX command. Can't believe chat doesn't like have like a beautiful exclamation expo exclamation. Not even happening. Someone did. Yeah. Did right. they? Yeah. I didn't see. I was prevents uh, global node modules. Prevents global node Alicia. modules. 
which I guess is a horrible thing because everyone hates global things, right? Like that's, that's just. Chatty's here to troll, not to help. Amen. <laughs> Uh, NPX installs direct from NPM instead of having to install it all on your machine. Salt. Configure your template path. Oh, God. This is, like, so much harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> A peeps latte sounds horrific. I'm going to let uh, Alyssa do all the actual coding, and I'm just going to sit. I don't understand. Someone wants a peeps chat. latte? Please. It's horrifying. What? It's gross. No, thank you. Done. Here's what I'm imagining. We take the peep. We melt the peep in the microwave, and then you just kind of like mix that in the steamed milk. It's like, like the that... foam. There's a cold brew foam on top. <laughs> peep, peep foam. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but this is what I did. A peep some more. <laughs> I'm put this over on the right, and I'm going to check you out. Add the path to all of your template files. I don't even know all of my files yet, but okay. Um, oh, God. So stressful. We can just add them as we go. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> what? What? Tell me. So, no, the chat. Uh, fuel rates. Is this a peep show? <laughs> <laughs> is a peep show? Oh my God, Catherine. We should yes. make the peep show. And it's like instead of Fantasy Fridays, we just rename it to like the peep. We can't show. call it. We can't call. It. That's setting false expectations. But I will not be performing on chat. <laughs> Okay, uh, what should I tell and directive to each layer of my styles? <laughs> okay, have you stopped using Im import for use? Has is that what have you done that in your life? What? <laughs> in, in, Sorry, I didn't follow that. In in SAS, when you're like import this file, like instead of that, do you now do oh, you, yeah. at use this file? Um, I've still been mostly importing in SAS. Am I no. supposed to be using now? Uh, there was a deadline. No, this is for Dart SAS for like October 1st to deprecate oh, right, it. Because, right, because it's a vanilla CSS mm -hmm. word now. I don't know how hard that deadline is or if it's taken back or like, but I mean, it's coming. Mm -hmm. It's one of those trains that you see down the track and you're like, yeah, I'm going to do something I about do that. I do remember now, now that you've said it, it's like, yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> Turtle, what did you say was cool about use? It, like he was saying something about how it creates, like um, it it it's different than import because it creates um, what is it called? In caps, a namespace like for like and that thing. Says it could be scoped, which sounds like the same thing mm -hmm. that yep. you're saying. Yes, encapsulating. Yes, which Although, is kind of kind of cool, right? Like yeah, I think it like. If we're gonna have to deprecate it anyway, we might as well bring in something that does something more, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you. So that's why if you try to just rip out your imports and replace them with use, it might not work because you have to um, namespace <laughs> things. So you need to give that namespace a name and then use that name for the variables right. that you're hijacking. That makes sense. What were you saying, cute? What's happening? Um, new life goals, start calling your partner turtle. <laughs> Everyone's inspired by how adorable you guys are. Uh, or <laughs> tortoise, says salt. Um, a question about whether our chicken life's alternative channel title was once the peep show. And then someone <laughs> wondering if we're tailwind yet. <laughs> yeah, they like, see the tailwind happening. They see my screen, it's right? Happening. It's, it's happening. Fun. I can talk about peep shows and write tailwind at the same time. Also, this is yelling at me, and I don't know what I don't what um, probably did something wrong. Um, is it me? Is it you? None. What's yelling? It doesn't know about Tailwind, and I'm like, that doesn't seem like a me problem. <laughs> Wait, it says add the Tailwind directives for each Tailwind layer to your styles dot CSS, which is what I did, and now it's just angry. So I'm just gonna serve it and see what happens. Uh -uh. Uh, I also did the above steps about <sighs> this is like, is this literally Catherine saying every single template that's in and in, in, that has like an HTML file and a TypeScript file, like that's Can inside of source, in, like a smidge that is really small, like this and, and bigger. -er. Right. So it's like uh, anything in the source file or in the, source directory any of the children that end in dot html or dot ts 
I mean, that seems like good to me, but I wonder if I'm actually allowed to use that or if I need to (laughs) specify the individual route. Uh, Okay. What is this thing? Would you like to share anonymous, anonymous? I'm going to make this bigger because you said the other one wasn't big. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, Bigger. Would you like to give the Google overlords all of your data to help? Always. Oh my gosh. Yes. (laughs) I love giving people. Good question. Good question in the chat. Uh, Ooh, Fuel what? says, "What is the point of Tailwind? I'm a noob. Uh, Salt is threatening to DM and tell them specifically. <laughs> DM who? <laughs> oh, the person who asked? <laughs> yeah, Fuel asked, and Salt was like, "DM me, and I'll tell you, LOL." Which oh I think my god, be. that is so funny. I want to be a part of this DM. Like, I, I feel like it's going to be salty. <laughs> <laughs> As in line with the name. Uh, um, I suppose it served local host. So let me show you the actual the the homepage of it while you tell them the glories of the tailwind. I love that you're uh, you and I are the ones explaining. We're the, the ones glories. selling this. <laughs> and we're like not so, yeah. the people to be tell- selling this. So yeah, tailwind is a CSS framework that's really popular right now. Um, so hot. We have seen it everywhere. State of JS talked about it. State of CSS talked about it. Um, it's evidently, it makes writing CSS a lot easier and it's got a handful of kind of like pre generated, I think, um, Mm -hmm. like classes and stuff that you can leverage. I am trying to understand how it's not just like new bootstrap. That's my unkind take on it is that this just looks like bootstrap. Um, so (laughs) I'm not like sold. I think it's less handsy. I think I think it's less like <laughs> we're gonna get like kicked off handsy <laughs> peep show. Uh, peep show. <laughs> I think it's less like I think it's honestly easier to override and like like plays nicer with your your own styles. Bootstrap can be a bit handsy. <laughs> yeah, uh, opinionated maybe is the right word. Mm. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, and not just opinionated. Because you can have opinions, um, but have them nicely so that it's like a bootstrap can often be, you know, even with the newest version, I always go back and double check and I'm like, yep, still handsy. Uh, you, they, they can be very um, specific and general at the same time. So like they'll have very specific selectors that you have to override painfully, but then they also have very general styles that touch everywhere in the app. And you're like, God, I've got to do this everywhere. Mm. Right. So I, I, it's like a two for like, I'm, I'm, I feel like with bootstrap, I'm very claustrophobic because it's coming at me from all sides, but that's from yeah. a person who wants to write custom styles and work with a design system that like kind of comes in and helps me, but not like overrides me. And, and and so that's kind of a unique use case. I think a lot of people who reach for something like Tailwind or Bootstrap, um, it, it's like a larger team. They don't have time to do specific UI or UX or don't even have the need to do really custom things. And, right. and these things help them get up to speed quickly and, and move fast. So I think, I don't know, I, I don't think I am the common use case of these things. The chat is also skeptical. It makes you feel better. Um, <laughs> Aaron says it's like bootstrap of bootstrap was all utility classes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Salt says the developer experience is horrible. <laughs> um, oh, no. Really? Even the docs, though, they're so pretty. And like, look at this sick stuff here where, like, you see that top one where this one, where it's like, it's styling it. I'm going to refresh it. It's styling this card. Like, it starts unstyled and they start adding in the predefined what do you call these selectors class thingies classes yeah like utility classes i guess you start adding the utility classes in and you see it changing over here i thought that was slick things like that that i'm like oh that's that's pretty that's cool and then you can just see it change in line i don't know okay yeah um we were doing something (laughs) lives and you serve oh it's up Okay, so you are up and working. This is the Angular, you know, template of first timey bits. Let's go to our, I'm going to make you bigger, a little bit smaller, and then make you over on the side, please, and thank you. Okay, so we configured our template paths. We added our Tailwind directives to our CSS styles.css. We served the application. Um, I wonder if I'm still getting those. Yeah, it's still squiggling at me. Huh. 
It's like a that's so weird. It's like a VS Code thing. I have to let it be aware of or so. I don't know. I always hate crap like that. Honestly, most of the time I ignore squiggles because it's things that I don't know how to fix. I'm like, if it runs, then it, it's fine. <laughs> I know. That's where I'm at. I'm like, why are you yelling at me, rude? Okay, start using Tailwind in your project. Amazing. Let's let's do it. Um, all right. I need to wipe out the templatey bits. The bits. Bits. Yeah. Can we like get it down to just like just some plain text, maybe? Like, just wipe it all out. And like we're using the bits. Text 3XL font bold underline. I don't know. Let's see. Did it work? Yeah. That's not it. This one. It worked. Well, uh, it's not underlined. It's, oh no. <laughs> oh no. I think that's just the way an H1 looks. <laughs> I, I oh you know, my I god is it hang on hold on <laughs> <laughs> i think that's just the word I think, I I think that that okay so maybe there is a problem in my app because it doesn't actually know about tailwind hang on we're gonna figure this out so you don't know about tailwind so but i did i don't know let's see this this is just tailwind configgy bits not necessarily our app knowing about tailwind right like, don't I need like, to, like, make sure that this more. has, this points to Tailwind as well or no, because we're pointing to those here. Um, <laughs> I, this. That is so grumpy. It's absolutely killing me. I love oh it. Oh, my God. Tell me what are they saying? What are they saying? Solid says, you could just make one class to do all three of those things. I'm just saying. BS <laughs> oh uh, is short for bootstrap, but also <laughs> coincidence. I know. I know. When I, I, I once, I told you about the talk I got the most hate from, and it was yeah. removing bootstrap but everywhere in like the app or in my talk on the slides i never said the word bootstrap i just said removing the bs like like the, <laughs> you know the end yeah. i was like being funny people really didn't like it they did not like it okay um Aww. so this part right here this is the part i think that's holding us up add tailwind blah 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 it doesn't actually know about it did we get errors when we npm installed this guy because i'm wondering ooh, or maybe i npm tailwind css in it Instead of, well, because when you init, then it creates that file. And we have that file. Hang on. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Make you full screen and make you a little bit smaller so that Alyssa doesn't dry. And then scroll up to where we were running these things. Um, okay. We created the project. And I ran npm install tailwind post. Did this happen? I mean, you could just run the init command again, right? Like a worst case scenario, it's just going to remake the same file that we haven't changed yet. Yes. You need is to see it, what happens. I should. It says something requires a peer dependency, but none installed. Do I need to do this? Yeah, see? you must install peer dependencies yourself. So try installing that Jasmine core. That must be a dependency. I will do it. npm install. We don't have. I wonder what Jasmine core is. Love to just install things without Googling them. Um, I am so down for that. <laughs> Oh no, that was genuine. Uh -huh. I will just straight up like, oh, you need this? Okay. <laughs> like, mm, and done. NG serve. We want to see some underlined text. That's what we want to see. Yeah. But yeah, I will just rerun that command. Um, Salt points out we could just install peer dependencies with the npm command. Um, huh? And Aaron catches Jasmine is unity testing, which is what I found also when I Googled it. Jasmine is a behavior driven development testing framework for JavaScript. So oh. that must be what. Um, Wow. Yeah, unit testing. Sorry. I heard Jasmine is D&D &D testing. So then all of a sudden Jasmine was a person and we were on to D&D &D and I was like really lost. I'm with you now. I Jasmine is also laser cat's favorite race. <laughs> so, important information in the chat. Oh my uh, God. Chat <laughs> is funny today. Okay. Do we Chat's have killed me today. Okay. Hang on. We're going to get this. Don't be angry with me uh, for not getting it right away, but we're going to get it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to reinstall it. We're just, I just want to, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chad is really diving on the rice now. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> Whatever happened to those instant microwavable pouches of rice that are just- oh, Those were terrible. Oh, gross. Mm -mm. What the- What? No. Uh, they were easy. It was like one minute in the microwave and you had- Salt says they still exist. No, not for white rice. They exist for all the other rices. 
but not normal rice. I have seen like steam rice bags for like whatever chicken flavored rice or something. But like it's so much better to just throw some rice in a rice cooker. It's like infinitely better, like fluffier, more delicious rice. And I still don't have to like make it. Rice cookers. This has a flaw. You have to then own said rice cooker. Yeah, it's, it's worth it. (laughs) <laughs> you have like an instant pot or something. You can get one of those things that does everything. No, I need to get one. Which one should I get? If I'm like, I did. Whoops. I got the instant pot with the air fryer, and I do love it. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, it's like the big cylinder, and then you like air fry. I like use yeah. the air fryer so much though that like that big contraption to like get out of the pantry is like, <sighs> like, seems like a lot. Yeah. Oh. They are chunky, but you can you can put all of the stuff in the dishwasher. I like that because I hate washing things by hand. So oh oh, I do appreciate that I can like pull all the instant pot pieces out and just like chuck them in the dishwasher and say like so is instant pot the thing that you can like cook frozen meat? Yeah, it's like a pressure cooker. It is a pressure cooker. It's like a pressure cooker and a slow cooker and an air fryer all in one. Are we concerned about blowing things up? That's always my worry about Just a my... little bit. Yeah. Okay. When you like vent the pressure cooker, it does yeah. freak me out a little bit. Do you time. like get a broom handle to vent it and like, you, you know, like vent, vent it from, from far away? Yeah. Yeah. We do uh, do that with a wooden spoon. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Although I feel like we could take it further with the broom handle. Just saying, you know, you could really get your distance from the. <laughs> it's nice that you have a kitchen that big, but I do not. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like a Wait, what would happen? Kitchen. Like, where would you be? Like, in the wall or something? Like, there's no. Yeah, we just have like a skinny, like a galley style kitchen where galley. there's like counters okay. on either side. So, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. It's probably a broom handle worth of space. A broom handle. Okay. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. Are you okay? I don't know what to try. Hang on. Let's see. Do we have any errors? Let's find out. Where is the console? Seriously, nothing. Nothing in the console? Hang on. There's got to be... I'm what happens tell. when you inspect Hello World? Are those classes, like, showing up on it at least? So can we see whether, like, there's an issue with the classes being applied to mm-hmm. the HTML or whether it's an issue with the class definitions? So they are... Th- this is so tiny. I'm so sorry, everybody. Yeah, I was like, I can't see shit. They <laughs> are there. Okay. So... Um, they're there, but... Nothing obviously happened. nothing's attached to it um okay i gotta fix this this part where it doesn't know about it unknown rule it feels like what i mean like i don't actually know what is that i don't actually know how this works but like if we're calling classes at some point we have to import the css page where the classes are living right like what are you saying are you you're saying since i'm importing these i need to tell one base what did it change this so that it has some reference to Tailwind? Is that something that happened? No. No. Go back to your style sheet. My styles. Hmm. I'm like just looking. Yeah, I mean that looks like what they do in the docs. Uh, hang on. Maybe we can Google it. Am I getting an error though? Hang on. Let's go back up to this guy. She is giving me that warning, and I don't know if we have to listen to it. Where is it? Uh, when I do this install for Tailwind, <clears throat> it gives me a warning about the de- the dependency. And I did download, like I npm installed, but maybe I need to like, I don't know, dash dash yeah, save. Yeah, try running um, the command for installing peer dependencies. I'll, here, I'll throw it back on the screen. What is it? Um, just MPMI? Yeah. That warning is gone now. That's a good sign. Yeah. Uh, salt says, I could have rolled a whole grid system by now. <laughs> you salt. Fuel, uh, I'd actually the- paid to see you roll a grid system, like, quickly. You know, like, 10-minute grid system session, you know? And it's like, there's sweat and there's, like, intense music and it's like, yeah. Ooh, they'd be cool, like a race. <laughs> yeah, uh, Fuel says, but you need Tailwind for your resume. Productivity be damned. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're going to figure um, this out, peeps. We are, because this can't be that hard. Thousands of people use this and love it. All right, how, hang on. Let's see. We are, we just did this, these steps. Is there a way, like, 
I want to try to do something else with Tailwind. Where what do I where am I supposed to go next? I'm in And you use the like Angular CLI, right? Like that's how you rolled up this project. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um I did NG knew that sucker. No, that's what was asking us. Like, run... do you want CSS? Do you want da da? Yeah. Run the end command with things. Which command? What what what? The one above the NPX, NPX. one? Oh NPM yeah. Install Tailwind CSS post CSS auto prefixer. Yeah. Have you we run ran. that? Yeah, multiple times. This is the latest time I ran that right here. And we did not okay. get a warning on that. So that's great. That's it great. Just says we're good. All right. Um, and when you served it again, we still got the same. Yeah, still got the same. Hmm. I am thinking. Are we still getting the error in the CSS file where it can't find it? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Unknown rule at that's what I need to Google. Ah, yeah, <laughs> it auto completes when you type unknown rule in Google. Uh, so <laughs> checker? Oh, yeah, because it's like my v VS Code linter, right? Like, uh, make sure you associate your SCSS file with post CSS. See, do we need SCSS? Because it didn't mention needing it, it didn't say anything about it. Um, no. Visual Studio Code allows you to define mm. your CSS service. Okay. And pull it in your workspaces settings, JSON. You can add custom data and then say this is Tailwind. God, does this really is this really needed for VS Code to know about it? Note that you'll have to reload VS Code. Oh my god. <laughs> We've got Salt trying it on his side. Don't tell anyone I'm doing. This Thank you. <laughs> Let me know what happens. I'm gonna see if there's like a extension. Aaron suggests maybe it's a latest version bug. And if you roll back to an older version, that would work. Oh, are we on the so latest? Is that, what it, is that what it had us install? Uh Tailwind CSS and tell us. <laughs> if this was too would you if you want to be a millionaire, I would have phoned a friend by now. Ah. That's that's the problem. We're here. We are the friends. We found you. You are we're my here. friends, right? Like this. Yeah. This is happening. We, why do you think we're doing this? With chat? Uh, hello. Okay. Let's open this in again. I don't know. I really don't want to do that weird settings file for VS Code. That's not something I want to do. But I also don't think it should affect whether or not we have access to Tailwind. Okay. It's now not doing the squiggles. I. Oh nope. It's back. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Never mind. Problems. Yes. Uh. Yes, those are problems. Okay. Um, I really don't want to do that. Oh my gosh. And I, but again, like we could just live with the squiggles. That's not the real problem. The problem is right. we don't have it in our application. We do not, we do not have it. Um, hang on. Oh my god! <laughs> I know. I I really thought we'd get farther than this. We're literally almost up. <laughs> We're like an hour, and we don't even have it running. I'm. I can stay on if you want, but yeah, no, yeah. I just am embarrassed. Like I thought we'd have something to show for our glorious goodness. Um, uh, let me think. Mm. Is it here? Node modules. Which version of Angular are you running? Um, let's find out. No, it's going to be in this one. 11. <laughs> Which is why I just made this project and we're on 13. <laughs> There were problems as Aaron is if we installed today, if we tried it tomorrow or yesterday, it would have worked. <laughs> NPM stuff. Oh, or possibly we forgot to sacrifice the black lamb to the NPM gods before we yes, began the stream. Yes, the black lamb. Okay, hang on. Why? Um, Catherine, it yes. made it 11. Does that mean I need to like update something? Oh, it's 11? Version 11? All right. Yeah, it's Isn't not. Isn't Angular on like 13 now? They are. How do I, because um, I just did ng new. So that means like my system's out of, like, what? where do you update that? I forget. I don't know. Uh, I don't uh, understand why it didn't. Is my CLI out of date? Is that what that means? Hang on. Updating. I'm going to Google it. One sec. 
updating. I think that means my CLI is out of date. Update Angular CLI. Uh, there's like a just mm -hmm. like a really quick command I can do, right? And <laughs> Salt says worked for me. Followed the docs. How dare you? Are you? What, <laughs> for, hey, what 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 Angular are you on? You on the latest? Uh, hang on. We're in Tailwind, and we're gonna make a dir call. Or no, we're gonna ng no. I need to update my CLI. I don't know. Like, do I globally or because that's per? I'm super confused. Hang on. I when I do ng stuff. new and it makes it's it uh, Angular new project. Salt's running not. Angular 13.1.0. Not latest Angular. Of course you are. That's why it's working. Hang on. <laughs> yes, that's what it does. To create a new workspace. I don't understand why it's doing it to 11 though. Because if we go in here and we say ng new test, it's gonna make it. It does. No. Uh, yeah. If sure. you Google Tailwind CSS2 style is not working in Angular 11, it's like one of the first hits, but it was from like a year ago. And then I'm going to open this sucker in VS Code. This one, file, new window, file, open. Oh. Development, <laughs> tailwind, test, open. Let's check out your files and see, not that one this package. Oh my gosh. Give yeah. me the package. Full screen. 11. It's doing it to 11. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Can you do a new um, like Angular CLI run to get you at um, 13? Because it does seem like from what I'm seeing online, there is some kind of issue in and around Angular 11 because there's a lot of things that are like installing Tailwind Angular version like less than 11.2, and installing. Oh my God, 11.2. You know, it's because <laughs> so, I I bet it's because I'm on. I need this to stop making this. Can I just close um, it? Command C, right? I Control C it. Oh, good. Okay, cool. Um, Control so C, not Command C. I just I'm so used to doing it by hand i don't know what the keys are i know uh that other you know that <laughs> like, key oh, down there just... right over on the left yeah you do the thing um, on the keyboard <laughs> oh yes i just had an idea so i need to i think it's my node version nvm use yeah uh start over blow away the whole thing just hit all the keys good suggestions How... in chat okay this keeps happening Catherine. where i have Sorry, I'm like really close to the camera because I'm trying to see your screen. NVM <laughs> LS. I need, okay, so this is what keeps happening. I think it's because I'm on the wrong node version. And every time I open up my terminal, it like defaults to one of these others. And I have to always hmm. tell it, hey, no, use this latest or whatever this one is. Huh. Um, how do you tell it to do, does anybody, is anyone an NVM expert? So I can just be like, use this forever. I don't like, like not right like every time I open up a terminal window, because I bet you anything this is going to, I'm going to say ng new uh, second time around. And I bet <laughs> uh, you anything it makes it with 13. Chat suggests NVM use or NVM alias. I do want routing. I do want CSS. And I think that stricter type is just enabled by default. Yay. Um, yes, so I do, I'm going to open up a new tab and show you. So NVM use this thing is how I fix it. But when I quit terminal. All right. Uh, Salt says NVM alias default and then version Oh, God, name. bless you. Alias default. Oh, my God. I'm writing this on a sticky note right now. You're amazing. Oh my gosh. If I never have this issue again, you're getting candy the next time I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I got it. I'm literally sticky noting this. Anytime I like learn something that like saves my life, I'm like, <laughs> please, next time, don't forget it. Please. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with N NVM. Like, oh, NVM alias default. Oh, God, yeah. I, 
<laughs> I keep a document that is literally just called should I always have to look up. <laughs> oh, that's what I need because I've got quite a few notes here on the desk Rooney that like I don't know where to I, I don't know where to file that piece of information. Like oh yeah. This no, I will go a, in that stack. That's brilliant. Just a notion page. Uh, just mm -hmm. anytime there's yeah. stuff that I have to look up all the time. It just goes in there. <laughs> All right, we did orange for first time around. I'm going to need another color, preferably a hex, if you want it to be exactly how you want it to look. For our second time around, and I'm going to open it up. File, new window. I could probably just said open. I vote um, Rebecca Purple. <laughs> love it. Uh, where is this? Development. We're into Tailwind. And second time around, open. And I... Used to have that memorized. Rebecca, purple hex. Thank you very much. Six, oh. three, and nine. That's, that's I forgot that it would make you actually put in a hex and you couldn't just write the CSS color. Down. I know. <laughs> I, no, not that. Oh, ah! Enter a color. Six, three, and nine. Beautiful. Okay. Um, so now we're going to go and do exactly what we just did. I apologize, but I'm going to do it on rapid speed. Don't worry. Uh, and then you are you done you're done hey look at you second time. oops Se second okay actually we need to double check because we didn't check was it 13 <laughs> i know okay. nay. all right <laughs> you got a glorious nay <laughs> i was wondering if that was a nay and i was just gonna let it be i was just gonna it was. i was just gonna walk it was on. i don't know i don't know but you do um, know that I requested. You do salt know. Points out. Oh, what salt say? Tell me. It, you can just hit the the copy button in the corner of the code snippets in the docs instead of highlighting everything. Yeah, just throwing that out there. All right. I'll do the thing you said. Actually, it's uh. I wasn't doing that because I wanted to do these one at a time and not copy them both. But I know you can run commands. Um, yeah, you can drop together. Them all in there. Yeah, I know. I'm old. I'm old school. I'm like, no, we will feed this one at a time. Okay, tailwind config. Oh, right, that one I really could copy it. <laughs> you just, oh, it's fine. It's weird that it doesn't start off like this. That's, that's <laughs> not the default. It seems like a good default to have. I don't know. Ha ha! Copy button. Style.css. Where the flip are speed you? Speed mode. Speed mode. I'm going so fast. You can't even see me typing. It's all a blur. Ah, ng serve and then readables. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put this in here so we don't have to. Uh, no, not you. App. You. That is who I want. Goodbye and hello. Wow, that was interesting. All right. Let us serve with our serving fingers. Serve, serve, serve. There we go. Every time I think about, and I tweeted it earlier today because I was thinking about it when I read the talks too, the like meme sign where it was like there was a sign in like a kitchen that says like, is it hot? Does it look good? Are you proud to serve it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this, a, is this one in your kitchen? No, no, no. This was like in a restaurant kitchen and someone took a picture of it because it was hilarious. Um, but if you Google it, it'll show up. It's like a like oh, an Google. industrial sign. It's okay. like... <laughs> Is it hot? Is it? Does it look good? To serve? Is that... It'll probably get it close enough. It's like looking at the images, so prepare yourself. Uh, yeah, there's the sign. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I love this. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Are you? Any head, head do it, and you serve. <laughs> Is it hot? Does it look good? Am I proud to serve it? Proud to serve it. <laughs> oh my god! I love that. Hey, it was a node version issue that Salt, yours truly, solved for the Good rest job, of all time by resetting my default. Thank you, Salt. Okay. So we have the ability to underline. I need another class. Can I just do red? Surely not. Uh, but it looked like it like started auto-completing stuff for you. Did so it? You yeah. Great. You got like a bunch of like, Yeah, I downloaded red. the extension trying to fix. Oh, great. Ooh, required? Right? Oh, yeah. Ooh, relative. Ooh. Like literally just random R. So I don't know. A. <laughs> uh, oh my God. There's so many. Absolute animate none. Ooh, yeah. That one. It'll do anything because I'm. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. We now have conquered Tailwind. 
I have looks, seen right? what I needed to see. Right? <laughs> It looks so good. I'm so happy with this. Seriously, though. Let's oh do something God. fun. Okay. I need content first, though. And I can't turn off the spinning, but only, only if I turn on a different one. Okay. Now. Um, oh, yeah. That's what I wanted. Okay. So um, <laughs> I need I need some markup. Does anybody have a project they're working on right now and they want me to steal their markup? <laughs> slash maybe their styles uh -huh. uh, is anybody saying anything because i can always just like no no one's throwing anything in no the one's chat. throwing nobody loves but nobody loves okay nobody we're gonna go to my inspiration <laughs> folder oh and we'll just pick the first one. Oh, that's not gonna be good this is the adjustment bureau look at this beautiful map isn't that inspirational i wanted to design some ui based off of it i thought it was cute and the colors are fun the symbols. I don't know. I thought it was uh, quirky. Turtle says, your website, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, God. Turtle, no. You're like the literal worst. It's not perfect. It's so bad. <laughs> All right, fine. No one else I don't is coming really, do, Like, you have a personal website? Yeah, it's bad. I had to start adding as of August, yeah, 2016, because I keep forgetting to update mm -hmm. it. It's bad. It's real bad. Okay. Um, Inspectoroni. And good lord, I made that font huge. Okay. <laughs> I just want to copy all of your content. I know that's a button. Copy. Uh, I thought there was a way to copy all the inner stuff. Outer element selector. What am I wanting? Hmm. <laughs> Isn't that a thing? Edit as HTML. Yeah, that's how I wanted there. That and then copy. Okay. I thought even like there was a command to just copy everything. And I was like, not that I know of. <laughs> okay. Save that. And then it's not going to have the image, image, but we can steal that too. And then, um, bum, bum, bum. <sighs> your site is still better than mine is. Mine's There's no way. way. Give me your site. We're pulling it up. Uh, kgrayson.com. Kgrayson.com. I did it. It's like entirely text. Oh my God. <laughs> I've actually been wanting to go towards something like this, but I really want a really, really, hang on. We're going to go to inspirations. We're going to show you all. I, there's some people, <laughs> there's some people in this world, tech author, tailwind, who they have listed out. Is it Zara? I don't remember who. Some people. Nope. Oh no. That makes me so sad when my inspiration is not Ooh. real. Um, that list out their, is it Sandrina? list out their uh, uh, their upcoming like where they're going oh, i do cool. i did put that online in a little box in the bottom yes. i don't always remember how do you update it though like do you have to like actually i just do it manually cause okay I'm okay boring because i was like i know there's like a fancier way to do this and that's like oh, yeah, what's no. holding me back because I, I i i might feel the need to do the fancier way yeah. salt okay. says you should do uh his website <laughs> salt did he share it yeah, kristamars.com. Not saltburnum.com. Okay, it's fine. And not hurt at all. De Mars. Did I spell it right? Com. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, we're doing your website. <laughs> Actually, let's do oh, – wait. Let's do both. I want to do Catherine's too. Oh, yeah. I really like yours. I it like – boring. Can I just – oh, no. I, I definitely want to grab the HTML. I'm like, can I just plop that? No. We're going to want to – I want to edit as HTML and grab your beauty, grab your beauty and pop it in and see your beauty over on the local host, the local host. Okay, cool. So <laughs> as one does, they usually get a beautiful design comp and then they're like, I want you to make it look like this. And you're like, awesome. And then you start, you know, tippity, <laughs> tippity typing. Whoops. You start tippity typing and you're like, Oh, good God. Now I have all of this <laughs> text. Let's make it look beautiful. So um, you have display flex, display content. So we're going to have to learn the tailwindy ways. The ways to do flex. of the tail. <laughs> yeah. Which you know there are. Yeah. Actually, I'm curious. I'm sure. Did it already, like, I feel like they, they own this. Like, I feel like this is a thing they own. Like, come what? on. What? Flex? Yeah. Surely they have something called mm. flex. 
Uh, layout. Where do I go? I'm looking because they have a layout section in the docs. Okay. I don't see anything that aligns directly. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Flexbox and Grid is in a different section than layout for some reason. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> layout, layout, layout. Where is uh, it? Oh, go. it's not in layout. Oh, there. Yeah, it is. Flex it's right underneath. Is this? Yeah. Um, I just want flex. I guess auto? flex dash one or flex dash auto maybe. This feels like you could just you could just learn flex. <laughs> did, it, did it work? Hang on. I don't think it worked. This typo that Salt's getting roasted for in the chat is cracking me up. I mean, he uh, has slate mistype on flex and wrote glex. Glex box. We need to make glex box a thing. Hey, where's padding? Somebody get me some padding quick. Quickly. Ooh. Come on, I'm guys. Looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Right after <laughs> display. Clear. Oh, Come my on, God. This is so... Container. This should be like should the be easiest thing. Layout, right? Here, I... oh, there's a quick search. I'm just going to. Oh, yeah. Padding. Look at you with your quick okay. search. Here we go. Uh, design. It's PT dash something. So like padding, <laughs> top, padding right, padding bottom, padding left. So PT, PR, PB, PL, and then dash a number to give it a rem of padding. Oh, God. I recently made the decision to never use rems again, but that's sexy. Look at that, how it says like. Oh, you don't like rems? Hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rewind because you just threw that in and then like blazed fast. <laughs> They're not needed, Catherine. The browser what? is past the point that REMs or M's are needed, and they <laughs> just... society has progressed beyond the need for. We rest. have, we have, <laughs> we have, no, and I they just rims. obfuscate why? the Literally truth of the why? matter, which is the pixel. No, they do. Yes. pixel. No, yes, yes. No. Catherine, no. get on board. <laughs> Absolutely not. They're responsive. <laughs> No, you can be responsive Never. without that. Great. I don't write anything in a hard value oh, unless I absolutely hurting. have to. Oh, Rems make me want to go Bleh. Like, they're not needed anymore. Turtle guy, if you don't support me in the chat right. in this moment, why am I even married to you? That is it. Okay, let us go see if the PT5. Oh, it hurts my soul. <laughs> I've got to get like. Rems are like dieting without calories. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Is that what Turtle said? Yes. <laughs> He was helpful. We'll say he was helpful. It, he's, <laughs> he thumbs up me. He's across the way so yes. I can see him. Um, you got it, babe. <laughs> okay. You said that PT is top. What if I just want all P? So I just said P? Is that a thing? Uh, oh, hey, it works. Well, at least that yeah. was intuitive. Okay. And then flex one is not uh, flex auto. Like, Or maybe it is working. Maybe this is all one big flexy. Column? We can inspect it and find out. Who right? flex columns by default? There's no way. There's no, no flippity dipping way it's working. Flippity dipping. Oh my god, it's working. Flex Wait, the one. display is not there. That's what we're missing. Hang on. Display flex. See now, now we have our. Oh, well, kind of. Mm. Do we not need that? Are you saying the flex that this is all we need in our life? Is this beautifulness? No, yeah. you should have to see display flex. I thought so. Well, okay. I, I guess we don't really know what Tailwind is doing in the back. So anytime you call, well, we're looking at what it's doing. Display flex. We just looked. Look, this is what it's doing, right? We yeah. said flex auto, and I'm the one that gave it that. This is what it's giving from flex auto that class. Mm, so we need weird. another one. I think maybe. Hang on, let me see if I do like this. That feels more. That feels more lit. Yeah, that's exactly how you do it, son. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how you do it son. <laughs> so i'm high on uh what is this called tailwind we got success it. <laughs> oh hey spacing under customization oh no i'm so confused right now i feel like i should close this quickly what is <laughs> happening you understand what's happening theme spacing one oh like so you can reset spacing their scale theme. maybe I guess. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm pulling it up on mine so that Using I can Using spacing actually... key, section, tailwind, file, customize. Oh, and default spacing yeah. sizing scale. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. I think this says, when you by default, tailwind includes a generous and comprehensive numeric spacing scale. They are proportional. So, 16 is twice as much as 8. One spacing unit is equal to a quarter rem, which is translated what? to four pixels. <laughs> 
we're gonna have to take a whole nother UI Monday's episode to fight about right <laughs> you need to right you need to you need to so I can actually prep my my thoughts on it because I sound like oh a child God. whenever I explain it to you without no with without no preparation okay I will say that the vomit noises are, are doing most of the childlike sounding <laughs> for that <laughs> I just it honestly oh anytime I work with them like I'm just like okay so let me do this math again to see what this really is going to be like and I hate that feeling yeah you don't you don't, don't have that. that feeling like you just do math in your head like a whiz you're some kind of whiz I just math don't kid. I just don't do the math. I just think what? about them. You're just like, <laughs> you're just like accept just, that that a, size. Well, oh my God. You're one of those designers, aren't you? That like, you don't actually look to see if something is centered. You just eyeball it. And if it looks centered, it is centered. Is that your philosophy in life? Tell me the truth right now. I mean, yes and no. I feel like those are two different questions. So like, yes, but also that's <laughs> so to me, the deal with REMS is that you have to stop thinking in pixels right mm -hmm. so like it would kind of be like if you like when you're in the early stages of learning another language and like yeah. all the time you're translating back into english in your head and then you're translating from english back into the other language before you talk mm -hmm. it's the difference between that and just like knowing how to speak french or something right i see i never bought the cookie bar you know i was just like i was always translating i never really got into it uh, as far as like this is life now right well once you just start thinking about things like in rims and you're not really worried about like how many pixels that is mm. like okay i don't, I don't know. know do you and see so this i i like this though this this makes it feel friendly and in yeah. there i'm assuming this is like in their style sheet it's show, like a preview window and it's showing me i assume it's not vs code doing this i assume it's actually a window to their styles i mean the thing with rims though is that like yes that's the default but like you could reset the base level like thing that rems are relative to and they would just, like that's the point of rems anyway i like sizing variables for that i can see that uh okay wait i want to do anyway. i want to make this look a little uh, bit better before we sign off let's make just this so look you know chat agrees with me on rems <laughs> rem is the goat and i'll die on this hill with Catherine. <laughs> rems for the win so carry I'll on i just wanted to let you know that you know, I, I think it was just like the people have spoken back in the day. The browser didn't do responsive well, and now it does it better. So we don't need them yeah. for what they were originally for. But now there's like a REMS cult that no one's ever going to get rid of. So don't worry. No. I don't think your REMS are going anywhere. But <laughs> all right. We need to make this font, uh, this sentence bigger, blue, and we have a bolded chunk of monk. So. Uh, I don't want you up anymore. I don't want you. I don't need you. Goodbye. You're the other project. And I think okay. we're ready. Cool. Okay. So you need, I need like, is fonts at section or flex grid? Spacing, okay. sizing, typography, font size. Okay. So text extra small, text base. I don't know. Let's find out. So you have content. Um, I don't know what you were using content for, maybe for alignment or like how you're. I think it was just structure. Yeah. Okay, cool. I will leave content for now and move on because he'll be my, actually, I'm going to take him out and then if I need to. Okay. Bold. Uh, so I wonder if bold is actually happening here. Is it bolding it? I mean, probably. It's just an inline no? span. Wow, it's it it not bolding it. So how do we get bold text is my question. Font oh, family, font smoothing, font style. Oh, it must style. be font weight would be the right thing to do, font right? So weight. you would do like ah, font. You don't have dash the font bold. bold. And we also are going to do the text size to b -b bigger font size. This would drive me Base, so maybe? crazy because everything is named almost the same and not quite. And not quite. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, text base should actually go on the whole thing, not just your name. Plus, if base, in fact, is the size we want. I don't know how big base <laughs> is going to be. Text base. <laughs> base. Whoa, look at all the. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be 16 pixels. And Catherine's, it was much bigger than 16. Yeah, so, it was. let's find out how big. You are. Whoop. Two rooms. Oh, I'm gonna die! This is how Alyssa figures this rams, out. Font rams, size. Rams, rams. <laughs> Ugh, 24. Here we go. Uh, that looks good. Let's see. Too big. 
this is literally how you have like unless you want to go and do the math which i do not 30 is that it uh it's close enough small oh my gosh you are one of those designers 32 it's 32 it's 32 okay uh so i need to get to 32 and i'm currently at what was it 16 right because i mean uh Right, so like REMs, you think about a REM is 16 pixels, so you double it. It would be 32. Sorry, I could have helped you with that, but you're, it's too busy laughing. <laughs> your REM is 16. Okay. Like, because you can make it whatever, the base, and then it'd be like 12. You can make it whatever. Units of 12. And it's like, I never really got used to that because everybody could really have their own base number that everything is looking at. So then, oh, the math is. That's. <laughs> That's the nice part. I, I think love that's it. a selling point. <laughs> 32 2XL. We're not going to get there, but we're going to get close because text 3XL. Although I could look into the, I'll need to look into the changing. Yeah. Aaron did correctly call me out that I'm not using good semantic HTML. Who? Why? Uh, because I have. Um, All right, like Aaron, what's your class. website? Lego. Yeah. No. Let go, okay. Aaron. <laughs> that's a valid. That's a valid call. I <laughs> want Aaron to put his website in so I can heckle him. Okay. Uh, this color. This is the yeah. part. Oh no, he says. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, semantic. Uh, it should be semantic. I was just uh, lazy, and this is old. <laughs> is there? Is there a way? <sighs> is there a way to what? this part this is the part i'm pondering with my life oh god so can i put a hex here and say text hex i'm gonna try it let's try it text hex text hex <laughs> get, i mean assume get rid of that thing i don't, I don't know please work did not work because we've got all of these options with text color text neutral and then it makes it that thing i don't know these aren't useful to me yeah so it looks like you can either like use their default color palette or you can customize the color palette which is like its own whole thing so maybe the best thing to do is like find an existing tailwind color that's close ish close enough to like the blue that i was using and just call that a day okay so wait like, can you say those things one more time you said that the options are to use one of their own and then or you can customize theirs yeah so if you look through this box where you're on right now, like this is the stuff that's already there, right? And if you scroll down the page a little bit more, there's a section on customizing. There oh, we go, your customizing theme. your theme. So, oh, so you still have to use their name, like their regal blue, but I'm overwriting it. Is that what's happening? I think you could add anything that you wanted. I think you could call that like Catherine blue or something. <laughs> and, like, oh, you really think so? Oh my God, we're so doing it. Tailwind config. Hold. That's my guess. Because they use the word extend, which to me says add. Add. Right? Not overwrite. Ooh, she's a smart one. That's what it's a guess. I'm going to name it Catherine the Blue. Why is this not okay? There we go. Catherine. And then you were I put it in the HTML actually. Yo. <laughs> but when wait, how do I do I do text dash Catherine Blue? Like, Mm. Um, <laughs> ah! text, it up. yeah probably and then I, I don't know maybe yes some. that worked wait Good. that's your website <laughs> <laughs> oh it still worked it still works it still works i'm like over on your website like it right. looks perfect it looks amazing it and how did that apply all the styles like exactly how it's supposed to look oh my god right okay Done. what Whoops. is like, <laughs> through my bed <laughs> what is your sides I need your sides. What's your sides at? I got no idea. You know how long ago I wrote this? <laughs> oh, we're centering him. Oh, that's so easy. So let's do that. Uh, flex. Yeah. Oh, I have to be so bad. I like literally this. This is what I've been working on today. I'm not there yet, though. I'm impressed. Oh, I was actually told by a doctor to stop drinking so much water. Really? Yeah, I was oh. over like two gallons a day, and he said it was very unhealthy. Wow, so that is really high. I limit myself to one gallon a day now of water. Uh, I do about a gallon. Oh, nice. Do you it. do you have the gallon sitting by you, or do you like have a cup that you get up? I like it. I just got a little cup. Like I just got a little pint glass. Oh, <laughs> that's like a lot of walking. It's a good yeah. I want to get a lot of walking. 
<laughs> you have to get it. If you're drinking that much water, there's no way you're not getting it to pee all the time anyway. Yeah, I am. I am. It's true. Uh, the refill. The, cup. The, the refill. The refill is so painful. No. Okay. Hang on. We were doing something. Oh, the flex. I need other flexy things. So I'm going to learn their flex real quick. <laughs> Salt is a don't drink water, just coffee, pop, and beer. <laughs> And my urine is dark uh, orange. Exactly. <laughs> my doctor would not be into that. No. I do. <laughs> I do have a weird condition where I get to be on a high salt diet, which like nobody else. Anytime you say that, someone's like, that sounds horribly unhealthy. Do you have to like take, take salt tabs? Like I do take salt pills, yeah. But that's also why I drink so much water. Because <laughs> no you want to or because you're thirsty? He, Yes, all of the oh. above. Feel better when I drink more water. I'm horribly thirsty all the time because it's really salty. <laughs> How do I just with the centering and the just yeah. play? <laughs> Wait, justify? Maybe if I say the word justify. Oh, that's the thing. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, did you? Mm. I'm cracking up with this message from Aaron, which is so kind, but also hilarious. He says, it's so much better for me to use your brains to learn this than mine. I would have skipped so much and broken things. I'm like, <laughs> buddy, what do you think? We're <laughs> there's, there's a lot broken. <laughs> okay. Just if I center. I mean, man, we have done nothing but break things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You make that. Okay. So I, it is justifying center. Catherine was doing... A uh, line as well, and then a padding of 30. So let's make sure we are making that happen. I'm thinking it's – is this 30 pixels? 30 pixels. It looks about that. Sure. Okay. Uh, quit it. Quit it. Yeah. So now all I need to do is align items, which I think since Justify Center was a thing, align is going to be a thing, and then align middle. Confusing. Um, why are we still not? Do you have another thing that's centering you? Do you have a have max with 800? Okay, so content Same. needs max with 800. Just knowing my style, I'm big on the, the max width and then the centering. It's very lazy. How do I set a max width? Yeah, ooh, let's find out. <laughs> yeah, um, oh, 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 max width. Oh, what is happening? so it's max dash W. <laughs> I, um, I now feel like I can say I hate this with an informed tone. <laughs> uh, I have to love it. Hang on. I have to love it. Mm. <sighs> that one. So here's the things that I don't like about this. Right. <laughs> so here's my hot take. Um, is that it's got these like preset values that seem to be based around screen width. So like, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it's like max w screen small max w screen mid yeah we're actually using mid it's fair but also like what is large what is extra large like screens well, are constantly changing all of this is this uh, is what i'm wondering like bullshit <laughs> this says w zero but can i do my own am i allowed to yeah, just be like I'm, 80 800 like am i can i do this yes yes pretty sure oh, although i think that would be 800 did you specify like pixels or? Oh my God. No. Do I need to? Is there even a way? I don't think so. I think it's going to listen to REMS. And I have to do some math of like 800 divided by 16, which I hope it's 16. <laughs> it is like 50. Woo! Yeah. 50. Dave. Uh, either way, 50. it's not working. <laughs> oh my wordy gurdy. Why? It stopped working. If we go back to mid though, which was close to 800. It's good enough. Yeah. There it is. I. But yours is so much smaller. Why? Uh, what did I do uh, wrong? Salt has dropped a pixels to rem converter. I think you have my website like zoomed in or out. <gasps> oh, wait. And notice that because I've got that little like blue bar along the side. And on yours, it doesn't come all the way down to the bottom, even though I think it's set to like VH 100. <laughs> oh, it says 100. Should huh. I? It looks way smaller. On mine, it looks like that. Oh, like on my computer. Oh, is it me? Did I break it? Should I? Hang on, I'm going to hard refresh. Make sure I did I draw on my desk. I did draw on my desk. <laughs> okay, so I'm still zoomed in by that much. But if this is is this the goal though? Yeah, that's how it, that's how it looks. <laughs> why, why is that? Ha okay, we'll dig into that later. But that bar, ooh, we should tackle her. What is the element? <laughs> what is uh, it? What I think is this is it? 
Just a little dip. Order left. So. Okay. Oh, God. Do we want to do it? Yeah, we do. Just a little guy. Border. Uh, Purely aesthetic. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we're going to say on who? Who was it on? Was it on this guy? I think that's the content. That's why the content one has the. Okay. Wait. I think. You think it's on content? Hang on. I could just I go look. Why am I not interrogating This you? was written so long ago. <laughs> Body. Is on our body. Is it on body? Mm-hmm. It is on body. You were right. I'm going to put it on this one. <laughs> I don't, body's not in this component, and I don't want to go talk to the other component right now. That's valid. Border, oh God. Uh, Catherine, uh, oh. blue. Ooh. Oh, I didn't specify anything else about the border. Uh, border. <laughs> Uh, I need something else like a size. Uh, it's geez. twenty pixels in mine. I don't know. If that's good. So this there's um, a border. Oh yeah, yeah border white right. Yeah. So I need left, and I'm just gonna say eight. I don't know. Sure, eight. Sure. Oh my gosh, it's there. Who knows <laughs> what eight is? But it's there. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Let's find eight. out. Oh, this isn't pixels, evidently. Border dash eight is bordered with eight pixels. So I wonder why, like, oh, the half of there. the time it's in REMS. <laughs> half the time it's so not. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense for border width, which, like, would not uh, change based on responsiveness. Say it, was, say it was 20. Yeah, it was 20 on mine. Oh, no, it's not an option. Okay. Uh, I will figure this out. Slate, hold, wait, style, width, that one. X, what is X? Who is this X? What is, the, what the frick is an X? Because I can say border zero or I can say border X zero. Like ooh. I think that would be like. Border oh, border. X is left. X. Wait, no, no left and right. Oh, so like if you want to do like the sides, the X oh, or the yeah. Y. X-Y the X axis. or the Y. Okay, sense. see, I get it. I'm with it. I'm like, it. I got you. Okay, but I think okay, eight okay. pixels is like the max. We can I thought do. it was like a replacement. Like it says X here, but you could put border R or border L or like whatever. So, All right, ladies wrong. and gentlemen, we are now at our first. Can she customize it with your own styles? Okay, so we are gonna say, yeah. Out. Uh, oh, actually, Turtle says you can. <laughs> I can what? Customize it with your own styles. With your own like, you can put in your own like width or whatever. I tried that. It did not work. I said border left twenty. Do we have a border? Wait. Yeah. So how did you write it? It's like border. I can make up custom values. I mean, it's not working. Yeah, so. Border dash L dash 20, I think is what you want. Oh, he said I have to go read his comment. Oh, <laughs> the brackets are needed. Okay. Oh. Sorry. I should not leave it on that because it's like screen and screen for you. Oh, my God. That's going to change everything because like this was so painful. Changed. But like if I can. Come on, man. Come on. You should work. Did I do it? I don't see it. Huh. No. Was that how he did it? He just did dash yeah. and that and then that? All right. He's out getting a beverage. Turtle. No. Dash bracket 20 did not work. Did I not do that right? You said the brackets are needed. Yeah. Come look real quick. You don't have to look. Border dash L dash that, right? Yeah, it does say there's a section all the way at the bottom of the docs on that page called arbitrary values and that does walk through the bracketing uh wait on the bottom of what page this one yeah. oh my god yeah. what so if you need to use a one-off whatever i'm looking at the one on borders but um you square brackets to generate a property on the fly using any arbitrary value oh you need the pixels in there did you put the pixels in the bracket no Okay, I'm kind of liking it a little bit more. Like, look, it's working. It's oh. working. And I can do yeah. these custom crap in the in the right here. And I never have to leave the markup. I get it. I'm seeing it. I still would do it in CSS. Before yeah. I <laughs> but that's kind of cool, right? Look at that. Look, Catherine, look what we did. I, yeah. I do. I see. I think for me, when you were like, and I don't have to leave the markup, that was the only part where I kind of started to see why you would do it. But also, I would rather just write all the CSS and the CSS. We're not there yet, but maybe once I'm done styling your entire page, maybe I'll be there. Like, (laughs) So the thing to me is like this 
sounds like this looks like it would be an absolute effing nightmare to debug from a mm. CSS perspective. Mm. Like if some styles are like clashing or something's not doing the right thing or like something's nested inside or whatever and it's like styles are cascading I think and I, I can't figure that. out why. They're inspiring me. I should make some of the challenges in the workshop be like, <laughs> go figure out what went wrong. <laughs> yeah. You know? Because like, like debugging CSS is hard enough when it's all in one place structured yeah. in a way that makes sense when things are like grouped per element and you can see everything that's assigned to one style. Tailwind, everything is so obscured and it's all attached. Like, but yeah, I would, when I, I inspect, would it's been very straightforward. Cause like when I inspect, it's just like this class and it's named the exact same as that. Like, like it's, I don't know. It's like, it's been straightforward so far, but we are only like five elements deep. So right. how, We're it's doing not, yeah. Thing. yeah. <laughs> But I must, I must hop off. I have to bath. That's fair. The bladder will not hold another drop. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all. And this was so fun. And I think it was a really great start to getting started with Tailwind. Sorry about the bumpy node problem in the beginning. You know what? We got there though. <laughs> like, that's all that matters, I think, genuinely. Uh, so. But uh, you're on next week, yes? Or is that me? Mm, Nobody? Remember. I don't know. We'll be back though. We will we'll be back out. for more UI Mondays Sometime. on a Monday with either me or her uh -huh. or both. Yeah. Phil says, tell one yay or nay. Uh, what's your vote based on today? Uh, it was more fun than I thought it would be. So, I mean, you yeah. you know, like both Catherine and I are, are very CSS. It's going to be a no from me, dog, yeah. but I respect it. But I see the point why people use it. I see the point for different teams and different personalities even. So yeah. Aaron's still in the so. house. Okay. Yep. I think for my episode, I don't know if I'm next week or the week after, but I'm going to keep going with this example. I'm going to yeah. finish building out that. And then I'm going to try to find some more complex things that we can do with Tailwind just to see the power or not, you know, whatever we end yeah. up finding, <laughs> discover. <laughs> but I will see you crazy cats later. I think, I think all that's right. all. See y'all. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>